There is an amazing man named Corey Good. This man has worked for several decades in the most secretive organizations in the United States, about which little is known even by high-ranking officials. The shadow sector has unofficial funding and many departments dealing with all sorts of things. For example, comprehension of teleportation or invention of new types of engines capable of accelerating particles to near light speeds. There are also departments on contact with extraterrestrial civilizations and the search for technologies of ancient man-made civilizations. So, by the way, last year the shadow budget of the United States amounted to a record $13 trillion. Recently, having retired, Corey decided that he could tell the public about everything and once every few months he appears in various programs on television or on the internet. By the way, official agencies like NASA or the Pentagon denied Hood's information, but he continues to spread it. In such cases, usually the source of data leaks is eliminated, but Corey Good claims that his friends have six copies of documents that will fully expose the shadowy organizations under the U.S. President, whether this is a bluff or being in the service, Corey actually copied them is unknown. Nevertheless, he tells very curious things. In 2003, he says, American agents discovered mysterious underground rooms in Mexico, Japan, Australia, the United States, and Portugal. After descending into them, teams of researchers found Atlantans there. The three-meter-tall giants were in large capsules filled with liquid. Corey himself participated in an expedition in Mexico. There, according to him, they managed to find eight sleeping giants. An interesting feature, they had no sexual characteristics. But, according to the body shape, they were sturdy men. In front of each of the chambers was a pillow-like dashboard with three buttons. Pressing it accidentally started some kind of program. There were melodic sounds, and then a female voice in an unknown language said something. The water from the capsule began to pump out, and the creature inside opened its eyes. They were completely black in color. There was a bundle of wires coming up to the back of the giant's head. The capsule opened as all the water drained out through holes in the floor. The giant tried to take a step and fell, hitting his face hard against the floor. He never got up again. Attempts to see if he had a pulse or heartbeat failed. There was no pulse and people could not turn him on his back. He was too heavy. The incident was reported to management that advised not to make any more manipulations unauthorized and, having described what they saw, to leave the room. Information about the location of the bases of ancient giants is not disclosed. But here is what is interesting. The words of Corey Hood confirm many contactors. So in Russia, Irina Podjarova claimed that in Samara Luka, deep underground, there is a similar bunker with sleeping Atlantans. French woman Mia Germain reported about giants in cryohambers in Antarctica and Egypt. German contactor Philip Schroeder told the world about similar giants in a state of stasis in Tibet and Japan. If all this is true, then, most likely, the ancient highly developed civilization decided to preserve itself in this way, and perhaps mankind will survive until the Atlantans awaken from their sleep. It would be interesting to learn from them what the ancient world was like and what level of development they reached. I'm sure they have a lot to teach humans.